Hey, what's up you guys? It's Tyler from The Heritons, and we're back today with a brand new video. And today we're continuing our series on Premiere Pro quick tips. And our second quick tip is gonna be all about that speed ramp, uh, cool little effect that you saw in the intro. So this is pretty easy to do. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. So. Uh, what we can see right here is you can see this is the same clip that you guys saw in the intro um, So it starts off slow motion and then you can see that it speeds up and then it slows back down So it's a really cool effect. I like to use it during dancing primarily in my wedding films um, But it's just I think it's a really cool uh, little little thing you can do So I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. It's pretty easy. All right, so we're just gonna use this clip here as our Demo clip so the first thing that you want to do is right click and go to speed slash duration or you can do command R on your keyboard and we're gonna set the we're gonna start with the speed back at hundred percent okay this is the easiest way to do it all right so now you have your normal 100 speed clip this is a 60 frames per second clip that's really important you want to make sure that you only are doing this with uh, clips that are shot at a higher frame rate so this uh, was shot at 60 frames per second on the Sony a6300 I'm going to right click on it we're gonna come all the way down to the bottom to show clip keyframes we're gonna to go to time remapping and speed Okay, so what it's gonna do is it's gonna give you a new line on here. And the, what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold down Command uh, on, our on our keyboard. We're gonna click wherever we want to start the slow motion. So let's say you know we want it to be slow up to about here. We want it to start speeding up here. And we want it to slow back down once it gets over here. Okay, so I just you know hold down command, make a click here, click here, and now we get these two different little markers. Uh, so all I have to do is if I click on this uh, section to the left here, I'm going to drag this down, and you can see that it's showing me percentages, and that's the speed. So for 60 frames per second, we want to bring it all the way down to 40 percent. So that's going to give us slow mo for this beginning part, and then we want to click on the part on the end as well. And we're going to bring this all the way down here to 40, around 40, perfect. Okay, so we're going to make this a little bit longer, uh, not all the way. There. Okay, so then in the middle, what we can do is we can bring this up to make it actually a little bit faster than 100. So uh, if you just leave these little anchors here, this is what it's going to look like. It just goes straight into it, right? There's no ramp. Um, if you want a ramp, what you can actually do is you click on these and you can separate them out. So you can see that it's just creating, you know, it's f starting down here at 40 and it's gonna ramp up to whatever we set it to 140. And then over here, you can do the same thing. So you can kind of decide which uh, which is right for you, which one you like better. Um, but you can kind of play around with this and you'll see that it's gonna mess with the length of the clip, um, which is why you wanna kind of save it for the very end and then we'll just drag this all the way across so um when so we can kind of finesse this around a little bit and once we get our final clip it's going to look just like this cool so you can see just like that that's pretty easy a pretty simple little trick but it can be a really really powerful so uh, there you go guys that is your premiere pro quick tip on how to do some speed ramping i hope you guys found this helpful if you did make sure to go ahead and subscribe down below if you haven't already and if you really enjoyed this video and you liked it a lot make sure to give us a thumbs up on that like button so thank you guys so much for checking this out this has been tyler from the harringtons and we'll catch you guys in the next video